In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a scroll bar in Excel so you can scroll down through your tables. Now, this just makes it easier when you have a dashboard in Excel or if you just want to make an interactive user interface. So here's my current table. As you can see, I have some charts going on and the table just keeps on going down to many rows. Now, after the scrolling, as you can see, I've made a table here with the scroll bar on the side. So I can simply scroll through these rows without having to move uh, my entire workbook down. And as you can see, those charts are still over here as well. And they're intact as I scroll up and down as well. So let me show you step by step how we can achieve this. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to start a new spreadsheet. And in the first cell, I'll just go into equals and I will select the very first cell, the column headers of my reference table. And I'm going to drag that down so that all of the column headers are showing. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the scroll bar. So into the developer tab into insert, and I'm going to be inserting a form control uh, scroll bar. Okay. Make sure you don't insert an active X control uh, scroll bar. There are, there is a scroll bar option over here as well, but make sure you choose the form control scroll bar over here. Okay. And I'm going to put it where I want. So, for my case, I want it to be right over here in column I, like so. And here's my scroll bar. Now, if I right click and go into format control, we can see that the current value is zero. That's fine. Minimum value is zero. Maximum value is 100. Increments are one. And it's not linked to any cell, okay? So let's go ahead and let's link it to cell P1, for example, okay? Now, as we go up and down, as you can see, cell P1 changes its value, okay? So in our case, what we have in our table is order ID starts with order one, and it goes all the way down to order 100. So make sure in your table you have this kind of sequence going on as well. Um, so our first value is one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into format control, and I'm gonna select minimum value to be one, and we'll keep the maximum value at 100 for now, okay? And we're gonna change the link cell, and instead of linking it to this cell over here, I'm gonna link it to a cell in our other sheet. So I'm gonna choose a random cell here. Uh, let's go with cell N1 over here, and there we are. So now as you can see, cell N1 is linked to the scroll bar. So if I go and scroll down to uh, here, for example, this is about 50 or about 60. And then as you can see, this number changes to that value as well. So this number in this spreadsheet is linked to the scroll bar. Okay. Now that we've achieved that, what I'll do next is in my table, my new table rather, in the uh, empty space here, I'm going to start an offset function. So equals to offset, and my reference will be my reference table the very first cell. So in my case, it's the order ID. Um, so I'm just going to go into uh, cell A1. And as for rows, I'm going to select my cell N1 right over here. And I'm going to make sure I lock this by pressing F4 on my keyboard as well. For columns, I'll keep it at zero because we don't have to worry about that. And I'll skip the height and width because we don't need that either. And there we go. So we have 60 right now. If I go all the way up, we have one. So order one. And then if I scroll all the way down, then we have order 100 showing. Okay. So I'm going to scroll back all the way up to one. And after that, I'm going to grab this and drag it down to the right. And then I'll copy this entire row and drag it down how I see fit. Now I'm just going to change the formatting really quickly of some of these cells. So the amount is going to be in dollar format and the order date is going to be in date format. I don't want to forget doing this. So it's best to do it right now. And there we are. So now we have our scroll bar ready. So if I scroll, as you can see, the table goes with me, right? It's scrolling all the way down. So let's go to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and let's see what we get. We get a whole bunch of zero values, right? Because at order 100, we stop, but we're still getting a whole bunch of zero values. Okay. So 
It's important to note that whatever we selected as our last value in our scroll bar, that's going to show at the very top over here when we scroll all the way down. So if I go to format control once again, my last value, maximum value is 100. So that's why when I scroll all the way down in my scroll bar, I get 100 on the top. Okay, I want to change this so that when I scroll all the way down, I'm not getting any zeros. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit until 100 comes at the very bottom. So as you can see, when 100 is at the very bottom, cell 78, order ID 78 is at the top. So I can now use that information to go into format control and change this maximum value to 78. And there we are. So now my scroll bar is ready. And as you can see, when we scroll all the way down, we're not getting any zeros or any null values. And when we scroll all the way up, we're getting our entire table just like that ready for us. Okay. So that's how you can make that scroll bar in Excel using the developer and the offset function. I hope you found this information valuable. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to use your scroll bar for. And until then, I'll see you next time.